Okay. Um. Okay. So, like I was saying, um, you want to set your shutter to thirty, or you could go, you could use shutter, or you could use manual set it to thirty. Now, um, that covers the basic settings and the that covers the basic settings and the depth of field. Now, um, for abstract, um, basically abstract is another word for texture. Now, I've done a texture video. I've done a texture. I've done a. I've done a texture. I've done a texture. I've done abstract photography. Um, you mostly most of the time you can just use like a, a background. Use something as a background, like a like leaves, you know, or you could do um a point and shoot where you use your camera on on the object, you know make like um maybe uh a palm tree it depends what you want to use um you could use um it's basically abstract you want to get like a background you want to use like something for a texture um is diff abstract is real difficult it's it's not something um abstract photography is not easy it's not simple but basically you're using a subject as um, a texture for like a background or um yeah it's like a texture okay um now stage photography now me um I'm not I haven't um I'll, me um stage photography you might want to do like a a portraiture or um there's a famous image of like a of this person or um you know uh with the uh, it was like a, a, a sci-fi image with um a girl um with the with the a, um, a, a, you know a, a, a kid and um she has um she's dressed like a fairy and then she has like um these dancing um uh, fairies or angel uh, fairies she has these dancing fairies around her and that um um and you know they make it look real you know it's her and the dancing fairies and it really makes her look like a fairy and uh, it really makes her look like a fairy and it makes the dancing fairies look real that is a stage you know where you bring something that you know um or you bring something to life you know make something that's not real probably look real now um for my when I did stage photography at college, I used a portraiture. It was a conceptual, uh, uh, it was a conceptual image, and um, this was my um, this is my portraiture. Uh, this was my conceptual image. Um, it's me. Um, and um, it has um, uh, and it has um, let me see. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Okay. It's it's a conceptual piece and it's me, um and it's a uh, it has a it has a it's a portrait it's a topography, um and it has a texture, so um it's a uh, it's the quote um what is your um deepest um fear, and your um I use um the the quote from Nelson Mandela, um so um basically it's it's a portraiture. And it's a texture of topography. It's a graphic design, but it's also conceptual because it makes you think. You know, um, so um, basically, um, your deepest fear is not that you're inadequate because you know we're children. You know, or in uh, um, in God's eyes, you know, we're children or we're children at heart, especially the especially the artists, right? So, um, or it could be a sports, so in sports. So on in sports, um, so um, basically, um, most of the time we feel that, um, you know, that we're like adolescents, like maybe we're always, um, not, we're, we're not, um, uh, sometimes we feel like we're not great, or maybe sometimes we feel, maybe sometimes we feel like we're not great, or maybe sometimes, um, we feel that, um, it's it, sometimes we sometimes we have um, sometimes we feel that we're not great, and then sometimes we also feel that you know maybe we could have did better or um, you know um, 
or some, you know, something like that, you know, something that makes you feel inadequate, you know, something that makes you feel like, um, you know, an outcast, you know, like, um, you know, especially dark people, you know, they, they might feel like, you know, oh, they hate me or, you know, I'm never going to be good enough. But the truth is, is that we're always going to be good enough. And the truth is, is that we're always going to, um, we're always going to be great because that's the way, um, that's the way, uh, you know, the, the man above made us is that he made us perfect and we are adequate. We just got to find that fuel. We got to find that motivation that makes us adequate. So, um, that does it for, uh, the stage photography and conceptional. And, um, this is my, um, stage photography piece. It's a portraiture. But, um, it's a portraiture with textures on with the texture and the with texture with the topography on it. So, um, that's that's my photography piece. Um, it's a it's it's a it's a um, it's a typograph. Okay. So that so um, that's it. Okay. Now, um, for landscapes, uh, for landscapes, uh, um, for lands, for landscapes, now, if you go to my, if you, uh, for landscapes, I have one, you know, um, on my, um, Facebook, um, with the school, with the college, uh, it's Palo Alto College. And you can see like some land, you know, and you can see uh, the, 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 and you can see the cars, uh, you can see like some land, basically it's land and it makes in, um, maybe a structure in the background, you know, um, you'll see, there's a lot of landscapes, you know, where there's like mountains and trees and it comes out real nice, you know, especially like a horizontal with the horizon made with the sun, um, that's what a landscape is, um, Basically, you want to use the rule, the rule of thirds, which is like um, the rule of thirds is um, sky. You know, maybe the sky. For my rule of thirds, for my landscape in the in the Palo Alto College uh, uh, photography, it was very simple. It was the sky. You know, for it was the the college, and then um, it was the street. You know, so that's rule of thirds. Basically, rule of thirds is um, it's going to be, you're going to be able to see it, you're going to be able to see, um, maybe, um, like, let's, let's use colors, alright, so here's one color, and here's another color, and then here's the same color of the first color, so that's how you use it, like, here's black, here's red, and then here's black again, okay, so that's rule of thirds, that's how you're going to use it, alright, or it could be, ver it could be the other way too, it could be, um, it could be, um, it could be um let me see a uh, black red and then a uh, black red and then black like I was saying so that's how you would use a, a landscape now a cityscape um that's a little bit um I that's that's some uh, cityscape can be complicated most of the time it's just like a bunch of buildings you know and maybe a street um you know with the lighting you know dark and the 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 night and maybe um uh some lights you know so that's a cityscape and you'll see them like in video you'll see them in so that's a cityscape you know um it's mostly good you know at night okay and um yeah um that does it for uh um, that does it for, um, that does it for the final photography video. Oh, okay, yeah. I have one more treat for you guys. Okay. It's, um, the SLR camera. Now, this is an SLR camera. As you can see, it has a viewfinder, and inside, um, it's not digital. It's film, like the, like the, like in the early days where you, um, you take a or you take a uh, Kodak video, uh, a Kodak, or you take a Kodak and you do and you do um, s uh, snaps. 
and um, you take it to get developed. Well, these you could go get developed. Yourself, you develop yourself in a dark room, or you can make the dark room. You could go to a dark room, or you could have the dark room in your. Um, you can make the dark room in your like somewhere in your house. Basically, um, the SLR is a. The SLR is a is a is old fat. It's a camera, but it's not digital. You know, it's something that you develop yourself. And you could come up with um, you could you you could come up with your um by yourself, and um you could develop the images yourself. This is a this is a this is a SLR, you know. It's it's old school, you know. It's basic. It's old fashioned. It's it's something like um from, it's something like you know from when cameras were first being developed. You know, it's not digital. The digital is um something today. Uh, something that's today uh, something that's uh is something that the digital is something uh of the, uh, the digital is a, is a, is a digital um of the, of the of the digital times you know so basically this is how you use it you um you uh you you use the snap it doesn't have a it doesn't have a snap it does it, it doesn't have a that thing that goes you you wind it so you go like that so you wind it so you open so you wind it no you you um it has a black release and then you just go you see so you do it again you wind it no um there you go you wind it let me see and you do it again and you and you, and you snap so maybe like that So, so I'm taking a picture. Okay, one, two. Okay. So that's the that's um that's the SLR and that's our that's the final um video for photography. Okay. Um. That um that's it. Uh, th that's the final photography lecture on um, video